Well, July 7th workout, Tuesday it is. Um, first heavy exercise of the day, deficit deadlift. It's a six centimeter deficit. So that's about, what is it? Two and a quarter of an inch, somewhere around that. Um, I did two sets of uh, 115, double overhand. Um, and it was uh, tougher than expected, so, uh, but sometimes you have those days. Um, and in reality, I didn't do a lot of deadlifting these last few months on a consistent basis. So all in all, five for 36 times 115 is still reasonable and still watching my lower back. Swiss bar press. Um, starting with 67 and a half kilos, the bar is 16 by the way. So I added two kilos on both sides to get uh, the easy math, 20 kilos. Um, it's way harder than using a regular straight bar, so uh, I'm not able to uh, press my um, well, regular close grip bench press weights in the high 80s. So uh, starting conservatively, 67 and a half kilos. Main reason is not only the grip, in my opinion, but it's a lot more wobbly, if you know what I mean. It's less stable. Um, on the Swiss bar, I'm having uh, the narrowest grip possible, so it's uh, a narrower grip than when I'm using a straight bar on close grip bench press. So that is also a reason I'm able to uh, lift uh, less kilos than on a straight bar. But that doesn't matter, it's what it's uh, doing to the, uh, to the muscles and uh, the triceps, to be sp uh, specific. And I really notice the difference the days after, so they're much more fatigued than when doing regular close grip bench press so uh, I'm keeping this one in the uh, uh, oh, in the package would you know call it you know what I mean um, final exercise of the day rows and I did some horizontal rows also using the Swiss bar really liking this uh, uh, exercise uh, did three sets of uh, 10 reps with body weight and if this is uh, getting too easy in uh, hopefully already a few weeks I'm gonna try to add some weight, so maybe um, I'm not gonna buy a weight fest, those uh, things are way too expensive uh, in my opinion, like 100 kilo or 100, kilo, 100 euros or some, something around uh, that, or 80 dollars. So I'm gonna uh, come up with, uh, with something. I'm sorry, the final exercise, and I hate this one, is ab wheel row. It's in, there's one exercise or one muscle group I hate training, that are, and those are abs. I really hate it. Uh, always forget it or uh, they always come at the end of the training so uh, at that moment I don't have any energy left so this is my first set did 10 reps or 8 reps was it 8 reps sorry uh, but I also did 2 reps uh, just before the uh, video started uh, well whatever second set I only was able to do 6 reps and now it's Friday uh, just squat it as you'll see in a moment and I still have sore abs so there's only one way to remedy that, and that is to do it more often, so at least, at least two times a week. But that's going to be tough. Then the workout of today, July 10th. Um, both workouts were very high in volume. I'm going to show you my heaviest set of the day. Uh, and I switched again to high bar squats, because low bar squatting is giving me a lot of problems on my lower back uh, days after. So uh, it's very hard to recover. It's taking days and days, so uh, um, very pleased with uh, five times 120 high bar. Uh, depth could be better, uh, but it's uh, okay in, uh, in my opinion, so it'll be uh, uh, fixed in these uh, coming weeks. Um, this is my third, let's look it up, What's, let's see, one, two, three, it was my fourth heaviest set, uh, starting at 100 kilos, and after this, as you'll, show, as you'll see over here, I dropped the weight by 5% um, to 114 kilos. Uh, the bar even higher on my um, on the top of my neck, or is it top of my uh, traps, to be precise. Um, and my stance is a little bit narrower here, and uh, looking back at it, uh, this squat, uh, besides the weight, is, uh, is looking uh, slightly better, and also depth-wise is uh, looking uh, better than the 120 kilo uh, set. And then on to the final exercise of today, and that was a, a very nice bonus. Um, those who are watching my videos uh, have seen that especially my pressing is going uh, very well uh, these last uh, few weeks and uh, to well, about two months. Uh, because I do a lot of volume, uh, different variations of the bench. This is set number three or four, somewhere around that. It's 96 kilos. 
was expecting it to be a lot tougher. But it uh, went up very easy, I rated about with eight and a half RP, so could have done a few more. Well, surprised that the 96 for 5 went up that easily, uh, or that easy, 100 kgs. Two plates, so uh, very doubtful I'm going to get 5. I'm not going to grind uh, the last one out and fail on uh, rep number 3, 4 or 5. But I'm going to get in some solid reps, and hopefully 5, but probably down to 3. So, on to the first 100 kilo bench press. Four reps in a very, very long time. So it's years and years ago that I managed this weight for uh, more than, let's say, two to three reps or even attempted it. Of course, I did 115 kilos, I'm not mistaken, last year on my competition in May. That was for one rep. Uh, so five times 100 kilos is, uh, uh, well, uh, a victory in my opinion, uh, because I haven't pressed this in a few years. Overall, my all-time PR with 100 kilos is 14 reps, so not even close, but Looking at my age, 43 years uh, old, uh, or young, what, uh, what do you call it? Uh, very pleased with five times 100 kilos. Now final exercise, the three sets um, with uh, 85 kilos. Um, I kept going until, the, uh, uh, until I hit a nine RPE. First two sets were about eight and a half RPE, so meaning could have two more reps. And this is a nine RPE. So that's it, the next workout is in two days.